Hey guys, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we got another car from Copart as you know. You probably have seen it in one of the live videos. Uh, we were getting a windshield for the Beamer and we actually picked this one at a Copart insurance auction guys. Audi TT, it's a 2003 model. You can see it has some damage, clean title, that's very important, clean title. So uh, it, it's not too bad to be honest with you. We're gonna go around the damage now, see what's wrong with it, what it needs, see if we can start that thing, okay? Let me show you the interior, doesn't look bad at all, okay? You can see it has the premium sound system, door panels look really good, it will need clean, that's for sure. Passenger seat is excellent. We got it for a minimum price guys stay with us. We're gonna share that with you I think it's a great buy for what it is. It even has the original format uh, The downside is it's automatic, but hey, you know if we can flip it make a few bucks here and there uh, Heated seats all that stuff. So that's great. The only thing that I saw that's not so good There is one little spot on the driver's seat Steering wheel looks really good. It's not wore out because you know sometimes those will will be will be really bad. Okay, that's the back seat here. Everything's great there. Let's see if it's gonna start now. Wow, that's loud. So the problem is the flex pipe on the exhaust guys is leaking, leaking, leaking bad. And you can see there is a vacuum leak somewhere here for the brakes. This is for the, uh, for the pump, you know, it has a pump for the vacuum for the brakes and the flex pipe is towards the back right there. So we need to get to that. We'll need new flex pipe will happen most likely they got they jumped the curb right here. You can see both the bottom piece of the bumper. Intercooler is fine. It's there. It's not heat, but the control arm is bent because you can see you can barely put one finger behind the tire and the wheel well, and it shouldn't be that way. So we have a problem there. But <laughs> seems like absolutely no frame damage. We have suspension damage, serious suspension damage on the back. Okay, you can check it out. The tires is this way and it's supposed to be straight. So when they hit the curb, they were going sideways, something like that, I believe. Okay, you can check out how it bent, how it bent the, the rear suspension right here. And unfortunately, you have to replace the whole thing. You cannot just replace that part. The whole rear suspension needs to come out of there. We'll have a video coming out. We'll be rebuilding that. And right here, uh, that's where the gas pipe, okay, you can see. And where uh, the uh, vapor circulation goes and all that stuff. This one will need to be replaced as well. Rear bumper is fine. We'll need paint it most likely. Uh, you can see, we can, we, we can make it like perfect. We just want to clean a little bit of paint and rubber that they had here. Some WD-40, see if it's, gonna, if it's gonna do the trick now for us. Usually it, it cleans it, cleans it really good, you can see. And uh, we'll, get, we'll get to the paint soon, but we need to make that thing run and drive first. So, Copart guys, that's for this clean title. Uh, we got it, we got it for really, really good price. We got it guys for only $1,400, $1,400 with fees and everything. The bid was $1,050. I think it's a hell of a deal for what it is. 1.8 turbo engine, the engine itself, that engine is close to $2,000. So we'll have many videos coming on auto repair, guys. We might have uh, some, we might take it to the track just to see how it feels on world mechanics soon as well. So thank you guys for watching. Let us know what you think about the bike and we'll start working on it soon.